Hello. Wherever there is hype, there is misinformation and misconceptions. And the cloud is no exception to this. These myths can become very damaging, especially as you're embarking on your cloud journey. You need to digitally transform your business. So what we're going to talk about today are four of these myths. Maybe debunk them a little bit, but most definitely provide some clarity and hopefully provide you with a strategy as you embark on a successful cloud journey. So what is the first of these myths? Well, that is that it's a binary decision. Either all your workloads must run on-prem in a very traditional IT model, or you've got to move everything to a public cloud hyperscaler, embracing it absolutely totally. Of course, the truth is somewhere in between. It's going to be a hybrid multi-cloud world. But what's the damaging aspect of a myth like this? Well, we have an organization try to move 6,000 workloads to the cloud. Two years later, they've only moved 1,000 workloads. They have a stalled project, fatigued if you like, certainly unsuccessful. And 65% of those applications, or the critical applications, are not performing correctly. So what's the lesson here? The lesson here is to work with a partner that can guide you on this journey, understands the requirements of your applications, and can move you successfully or move those applications successfully to the correct platform. Now, what's the second myth? The second myth is that the cloud is a destination, somewhere over there, a singular point down the road. That isn't the truth at all. Cloud is an operating model. It's a way that you will deliver infrastructure and platforms up to service your applications because your applications are where your business is going to be successful in the future. It's where your innovation and differentiation is. But however you're operating, you still have to work within frameworks, maybe an ITIL framework. You still have a number of policies to, hit, to adhere to. You have to be secure. You have networking policies. You've got to be able to manage the performance of your applications across the various platforms that they might be running on. So what do you need to do here? Well, here you need to work with a partner, a provider that can provide up those various platforms that deliver to the requirements of your application. Now that could be BT's Private Cloud Dedicated, which is ideally structured to run your critical applications. It brings you all the benefits of a hyperscale public cloud, that ability to pay on demand, that OPEX model. Scale resources up, scale resources down but with the number of benefits that you as an enterprise require and the ability to actually run your applications on a platform for which they were designed. So you can run them successfully in the cloud with guaranteed performance, the security you need, and a very structured cost basis. And then what's the third myth? The third myth is that public cloud is easy, easy to consume. Well, of course, it is very easy to go to a public hyperscale cloud, whip out your credit card, spin up a workload, start developing an application in minutes. But of course, the reality is you're running thousands of application workloads today. They run on a different platform. So you need to be able to manage both the new platforms in the cloud, as well as the existing platforms that you have today. This is building in complexity. Complexity that actually makes it more difficult to consume cloud resources. This can lead to a number of problems around performance, security and cost particularly. And so we see examples where, as 451 Research stated, 35% of applications that are lifted and shifted to the cloud get repatriated back to a private cloud. And in fact, IDC stated last year that 85% of organizations were repatriating workloads. This is because you didn't think strategically about where that application was going. So here again, you need to work with a partner that understands your applications and can provide you with the correct platform for the application at that point in its life cycle. It might well be that application will move off, be refactored for public cloud hyperscaler in the future, because there are various benefits you'll gain from being in that public cloud. But as it sits today, maybe it's far better off being in a private cloud, such as BT's private cloud dedicated. Now this leads us to the final myth, the myth 
that public cloud will always be cheaper, or even is cheaper. Now, of course, this is use case dependent. Sometimes it can be cheaper, but very, very often it works out far more expensive. Many of the costs associated with the public cloud are not factored in initially in a project. One of the key costs is obviously that cost of migration. And we see this very often. Suddenly, what looks like a cost of ownership that could be significantly cheaper than running on-prem leads to an ROI of, say, seven years. Well, that is not a successful project. And that is due to these refactoring and migration costs where there's no real business benefit accruing. So again, often where you want to work here is with an organisation that can not only understand the costs that you're consuming in the public cloud, but provide you with a private cloud instance where you have structured costs, predictable costs, and that is tailored and optimised for those application workloads that you're moving there. Maybe you just think of it as a safe harbour to put them there before you do refactor or retire them or re-engineer them to operate in a public cloud. However it works, you can understand what your cost structure will be and so often that will be far cheaper than in the public cloud. So where does it leave us? Well, we've spoken about four myths and I hope I've given you reason for thought about how you can move forward into your cloud operating model and understand how you're going to embrace a hybrid multi-cloud world. Certainly from a VMware perspective, we believe we can deliver you a lot of solutions in conjunction with BT. They have the resources, they have the skills, and they have the platforms to ensure that you have a successful cloud project.